seen incidents involving food chains uh, such as the Taco Bell, Sizzler restaurants, uh, from such things as uh, bad scallions. Uh, we've seen spinach recalls, uh, E. coli driven recalls. We've heard of incidents involving food producers, such as uh, the pet food recalls from last year. Uh, these are big events, and they have splashy headlines, and people certainly change their habits as a result of these incidents. Um, there are different types of policies that are insurance policies that are available to uh, companies, uh, food producers and whatnot, uh, that can uh, help protect against these types of losses. These policies include such things as accidental contamination coverage, malicious product tampering coverage, uh, or food product recall insurance. The policies differ somewhat uh, because, for instance, with accidental contamination or malicious product tampering, the triggering event is the contamination to the product itself, whereas in the product recall coverage, it is the recall of the product that actually triggers coverage. Uh, however, with regard to these policies, the common theme is that the coverage is for the, um, the contamination or the incident involving the insured's own product. These policies exclude such things as changes in customer tastes, uh, changes in population, changes in consumer habits. In other words, these uh, economic factors that are very often uh, fueled by uh, the media frenzy that occurs with these uh, situations. Uh, losses that are attributable to those activities are not covered.